If you don't want the system to automatically focus on widgets, you can disable the autofocus on terminal flag in either the base class to disable it globally or on the instance or child class of a terminal blueprint. After disabling this option, you will need to interact with terminals manually using an external interaction system. If you don't already have a system in place that allows the interaction with actors in your game, you can use the integrated proxy interaction system as a placeholder. However, please be aware that the proxy interaction system should only be used as a temporary solution and is meant to be replaced by your game's unique interaction system once you have one. Here's a quick summary of how the proxy interaction system works. On the player character blueprint, we added the proxy interaction system component. With the reference of this component, we can pass over the input to the interaction system. The interaction system constantly searches for actors which have an interface implemented, which is called proxy interaction interface. If an actor was found, it is stored as a variable and an interface message is sent to the actor informing it that it's currently being focused by the player. When the player character passes over the key input, the component sends the interaction interface message to the actor it has found. Within the event graph of the terminal base class blueprint, you will find a few orange colored comments. Those comments point to nodes related to the interaction system. Should you never want to use manual interaction for terminals, you can safely remove those nodes. In the event graph of the terminal base class, you can find the interface functions interact, active focus start, and active focus end. Those functions will be executed on the terminal the interaction system is currently focusing on when the interaction system sends a respective message. While interacting with the terminal, the input on the player character is disabled. The active terminal, however, can handle all input during interaction. To end the interaction again by pressing a button, we need to add this input mapping to the terminal base class as it's done here for the proxy interaction system. With the proxy interaction system, terminals show a 3D text if an interaction is possible. This is handled on the execution of active focus start and active focus end and is using a simple text component on the actor. Your game's interaction system will likely be using a different approach for highlighting interaction options. You can therefore simply delete the interaction prompt text component if you don't need it. If you want to test the terminal interaction using a third-person character, you might need to modify the interaction detection trace inside the proxy interaction system. By default, it is searching for actors in front of the player camera. Third-person camera setups, however, require a different trace direction to detect the actor the player is looking at. As a quick solution, you can find a simple direction calculation inside the interaction component's trace function. Please keep in mind that regardless of the player camera setup, if you want to use this asset pack with a manual terminal interaction, you should be using a proper interaction system. The included proxy interaction system's purpose is only to demonstrate and explain how an interaction system can be integrated. If you don't want to use manual terminal interactions, you can safely remove all related assets and nodes to keep your project clean and tidy.